Growing up, I was told I watched way too much TV, but that's not completely true. I was also on the computer all the time, too. And as long as the internet's been around, it has been filled with stupid shit. But the stupid shit we laugh at has changed over time. What I wanted to do was go down to the internet rabbit hole and look at some of the viral videos that I liked over the years. This isn't going to be an extensive collection. This is mostly going to be animation, music, animation with music, and just a couple videos that I liked. If you guys like it when I do this, I'll do more of these. I like to have some kind of connecting theme, and I only want to talk about a couple videos at a time just to make it easier. But with that being said, let's get started. This one's a classic. It's probably one of the first videos I saw. <laughs> oh my god, that video is awesome. <laughs> He's just having so much fun doing this too. And I looked this up 20 seconds before I did this video, but the video is, is from a song called Dragosta Dente. It's in Romanian. It's by a Moldovan pop group, Ozone. And it got famous because of this viral video. And now it's also colloquially known as the Numa Numa song. And again, you just gotta love this guy's energy. He's just dancing around. And honestly, even looking at his bedroom setup, I feel like most of the guy friends I had around this time had a room like this. So... It's familiar, and he's just having fun. I really do, I just admire how much fun he's having. And today's depressing times, we could use that. So, next stupid thing on the stupid list. They're, these are stupid in a fun way. These are the good kind of stupid, by the way. This one, a lot of the stuff I liked, before YouTube, I was on a website called Albino Black Sheep, which I called Red Barn to my family so they wouldn't block it. But this is one I saw a lot. When they got to the snake in the badger song was a lot more screaming <laughs> i don't remember it being quite that reserved i remember it being a lot more bombastic this one i definitely only view with the nostalgia goggles i think if i were to watch it for the first time as an adult i'd think okay what the heck is this crap and move on with my life but it's badgers it's repetitive it's better animation than I could do on my own, so that I work with people, so... Badgers. This was a song from the same website that I personally liked a little more. <laughs> On Albino Black Sheep, it would just loop around endlessly, so you would get a ton of repetition. The thing about this is, I wonder how much the person making this was messing around. <laughs> I wonder how much it took on the pitch correction to make their voice sound like that. The thing about this song is the lyrics, while they make absolutely no sense, they flow really, really well. I saw a meme talking about how people of 
our generation can't criticize Gen Z too much because we were in the era of ooh random humor and this is a prime example of that. Like I said, the stupid shit we laugh at, it's always been there, just what kind of stupid tends to change over time. I've noticed things got a little more sophisticated over the years. Perhaps, perhaps our standards have improved over time. I don't know. And this one, this is one I really, really liked at the time. And looking at it as an adult, it seems rather tame, but it reminds me of another show I liked. sure how many people knew of tiny plaid ninjas it was certainly one i watched a lot and there were a couple of these but i'm just gonna play the first episode because it's not that long anticlimactic it reminded me a lot of Powerpuff Girls with the music and the simplicity of it but it also reminded me of a show that came a little later something about the way the plaid moves with the ninjas versus the background there was a show on Cartoon Network a couple years later I can't remember the name of it but the plot of it was a kid's favorite musician becomes his music teacher I thought oh it's a pretty cool premise so I was getting a little bit of that style from this animation. And I appreciate their overuse of the word honor before Avatar The Last Airbender really made it a thing. I don't remember what year this came out. Because YouTube, there's a ton of re-uploads and I haven't been on Albino Black Sheep in years. So it's... And I didn't feel like Googling it. So I didn't... I don't know if how many people saw this one. It wasn't as talked about as some of the other ones. But it was one I personally really, really liked. It's tame, but it's silly, and honestly, you know, for Flash internet animation, it's not that bad. I actually wonder what some of these artists are up to now. Are they working in animation? Are they still doing art for fun? Do they have normal people jobs? I don't know. And speaking of animation, this is another show, internet show, that had a couple episodes going on. Charlie, wake up! Yeah, Charlie, yeah. you silly sleepy head, wake up! Charlie the Unicorn, or looking back at this, I realize the unicorn with the worst friends on earth. Good lord, every episode. So these really fucking annoying unicorns who were terrible friends would get Charlie to go on an adventure he really doesn't want to go on. And they'd come across something, they'd come across another something. There'd be a song, and then something terrible happens to Charlie. I remember the song. They go, in this one, I'm not going to play the whole thing because it's bringing back really annoying memories, but here are some of the highlights. Go inside the cave. Magical wonders are to behold when you enter. Yeah, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I'm going to stay out here. But you have to enter the Candy Mountain Candy Cave, Charlie. <laughs> 
When you're down and looking for some cheering up, then just head right on up to the Candy Mountain Cave. When you get inside, you'll find yourself a cheery land, such a happy and joy-filled and perky merry land. They've got lollipops and gummy drops and candy things, oh, so many things that will brighten up your day. It's impossible to wear a frown in Candy Town, it's the mecca of love, the Candy Cave. They've got jelly beans and coconuts with little hats, candy rats, chocolate bats, it's a wonderland of sweets. Ride the candy train to town and hear the candy band, candy bells, it's a treat as they march across the land. Cherry ribbons stream across the sky and to the ground turn around, it astounds, it's a dancing candy tree. In the candy cave, imagination runs so free, so now Charlie, please will you go into the cave? Alright, fine, I'll go into the freaking candy cave. This had better be good. Yeah. yeah! Goodbye, Charlie. Yeah, goodbye, Charlie. Goodbye? What? Hey, what's going on here? Hello? Who is that? Oh, uh, what happened? Oh, they took my freaking kidney. Fuck Charlie's friends, honestly. God. Because I remember it, there were a couple of these and they fucked him over every single goddamn episode. Man, I just felt bad for the poor thing. But I also know pain is comedy. And I didn't initially have one on this list. Well, this one on the list, but... There was another unicorn-based show online. I'm just gonna play the theme song. I don't know how many people actually remember this one either. In the year 2117, an eight-year-old gay boy named Shannon found a magic lamp. He was granted three wishes. The first, a fur jacket. The second, a flying car. And the third was a planet full of unicorns. This is the story of that planet. A gay boy wish for a planet full of unicorns. Planet unicorn, unicorn planet. Give it up for feathers. Ooh, Cadillac and Tom Cruise. Oh, planet unicorn, hey. It's a catchy song. And I remember liking the show too. So we got... Okay, 2117. So we got about 97 years before this happens. Planet Unicorn, hey! So for the next video, this is He-Man. I love this video. that video even to this day now that came from a song by the four non-blondes what's going on but I knew this first and I watched it when it came out but then someone reintroduced it to me back in college and man it puts a smile on my face every time I watch it it's so well done and I actually have seen the He-Man episode where most of those clips are taken from it did such a good job with the mouth movements and man it's just it's He-Man it's it's a classic. And for the final video, this was my absolute favorite viral video growing up, but I'm not gonna play the whole thing because it's 30 minutes and I absolutely don't feel like that. This is the Demented Cartoon Movie. Python of Flash animation. It made no sense. It was violent. Stick figures died. It was great. Oh, I know. Let's play Toss the H Bomb. Yeah! Whee! My favorite part was the kamikaze watermelon. What was that guy? Some kind of kamikaze type person? Well, at least he wasn't a watermelon. A watermelon? You mean like a kamikaze watermelon? Whee! <laughs> <laughs> that was a kamikaze watermelon. What's next? It's weird, it's violent, it makes absolutely no sense, there's a lot of death. <laughs> it's 
30 minutes long, and yet you're willing to sit through the entire thing. I certainly did many, many times, much to the annoyance of many, many people around me. Maybe it's because it goes so far into how much it makes no sense, it makes perfect sense. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but you know what? It puts a smile on my face every single time I watch it, and hopefully it does the same for you. Thank you everybody who's been supporting me on Patreon. You can support me there. You can support me on Ko-fi. And see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.